Hello. Who's this? It's me. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Ignore the stains on my on my clothes. Hello. Uh, oh, this is looking different. This light is... Woo! Okay, this is sexy as hell. I'm happy. Okay, guys, so I just want to talk about some of the things that... Oh, sorry, I didn't even do my intro. Hey, guys and girls, that's my intro. Uh, <laughs> not that you didn't know. Well, maybe you're new here, so if you are, welcome. Um, I just wanted to talk about some things that we need to leave in 2019, okay? Because this... <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for the nightmares you're gonna have tonight. So there's some things that we need to leave in 2019. I'm a million light years away from you. Da -na 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 -na. Na -na -na <clears throat> okay, so in 2020, here are some things that we need to stop doing. Okay, so the first thing is one thing I hate, and I've actually I've been this I've been hearing this terminology, this term since about two over there, since about 2014, and I'm really it doesn't it does not butter my croissant. I'm sorry, it doesn't roll my eggs, it doesn't egg my rolls, it doesn't add banana to my chocolate milkshake, it doesn't add sugar to my tea, it doesn't pay my phone bill. I am getting a bit fed up of people going, it's not that deep, it's not that deep. This is something that air signs say, and this is something that fire signs say, because you guys like to pretend you haven't got any emotions, all right? So, and earth signs do it too. Water signs are the least likely to do this, but so when I say water signs, I'm talking about Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. We're the least likely to do this. The signs that are most likely to do this is every other sign that is not Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So when someone says something, right, and you're basically, you're getting upset or you're getting offended at the fact that they're taking it so seriously, and, and then you'll go, it's not that deep, like it's really not that deep. What you're basically saying is you're basically saying the other person's feelings are not valid and their opinions on the matter is not valid and that what, what they have to say, what how they're feeling is not justifiable. So you're only a way of trying to, you know, get away from the feels. I don't really know about feels. Cause I don't do feels. Feels me. So the way you guys get out of that is you go, it's not that deep. Uh, what's not that deep? What's not that deep? Where? Your intelligence isn't that deep. Your fashion sense isn't that deep. Your mind isn't that deep. Your thoughts aren't that deep. Mm -hmm. Your bank account, your pockets aren't that deep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sick. <laughs> right? What is what is deep? Is a Scorpio's feelings. But what are you? What do you mean when you say that? What do you mean it's not that deep? Your mum's pussy wasn't that deep last night when I f***ed it with my strap on. Sorry. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. No more ghosting. All right. I'm sick of ghosting. I was catfished this year. So I'm gonna count that as ghosting because as soon as I did that, the person deleted their account. Well, I messaged them and I blocked them and everything. And yeah, I um, only had them on Google Hangouts and Instagram because the way that they wanted to do their scam is they wanted to mainly talk to me through Google Hangouts because it's a good way to conceal your identity, unlike Facebook or other things when it's obvious that the person isn't real. Hi. They can, it can, people can easily Real pretend ghost. to be someone else these days, but don't ghost people, right? I, I'm on a dating site called Timey. I'll put the logo on the screen, you should, you should have seen it by now. And a lot of people on that app, they decide that they do not want <clears throat> to talk to me anymore, which is fine. I mean, you're missing out on me, I'm sincere. I've never cheated in a relationship. I've never lied to my partner. Only lie I tell is when they ask me how I am. Other than that, I don't lie. But you know, there's really, apart from obviously, if I'm planning a surprise party, I'll probably lie about that. Um, Cause I don't want you to know. But <laughs> apart from that, I don't lie in relationships. I've never cheated, not even once. So I've spoken to other people when I'm dating people, but as soon as it gets serious, I cut everybody else off and just focus on you. So just remember that, okay? So stop ghosting people. I have an app which I'm going to show you in just a second. And okay, I'm not done with my makeup yet, but I'll just show you now. Right, so I have this app, okay? Timing. And I'm actually amazed at the amount of people that have left me on red. I'm actually going to screen record it for you guys right now. Let me go on this Timing app. Let me log in. I'm, so this that's what the app looks like, Timing. It looks just like that. I'm trying to show you before it stops screen recording or whatever. So I'm going to log in with my Facebook. The amount of people that have left me on red for no reason, like people have messaged me. And then um, I've messaged them back, I'm like, wow, you're fine, the heart eyes. And I go, hey, and then they leave me on red. Sorry, what the f what have I done wrong within the first message for you to leave me on red? Do you know what I mean? Like this app, this timey app, all it does is ruin my self-esteem. That's all it does, it just ruins. I'm, I'm deleting this app at the end of December. I'm just waiting, I'm just, I guess in my head, I'm just secretly wishing that something good will come along before I delete it. But there's loads of sexy look. That is a perfect butch girl. That is a butch girl. I would literally, she could, I, I want my, I want my legs over her, over her shoulders. That's not gonna happen, is it? So that's the account, Maya. Right, that's just an example. Um, <clears throat> 
I'll show you guys the kind of girls I usually go for. Maybe you can get an idea of why I'm single, because the kind of girls I like don't like me. So I'd go for that girl. Oh, it's a match. What a surprise. Um, this girl, yeah, she's alright. So there you go. I like her style. So swipe right. This is my this is my type. I like white girls, right? Who look devious. There you go. Or that just look like they they be nice people or look a bit mysterious. I'm a Scorpio. But I'm attracted to mystery. So you know. I would swipe right on her, swipe right. Uh, she looks a bit fake, but I'll swipe, no, I'll swipe left. Um, <clears throat> you guys can't even see this, can you? There you go. Swipe right. I would, oh, perfect example. Swipe right. Heath, Heaths. Yeah, right, whatever. Uh, I swipe right on her as well. She's quite nice. This is, this is the perfect type, type of woman I'd want to date. Looks like this, blonde or brunette blue green hazel purple gray pink whatever color eyes that looks like this this is the reason why i'm single i want that to change in the new year anyway moving on to my point now right so okay so i messaged somebody on here here's a perfect example I'm, you're going to see it on the screen recording right your smile makes me melt they said i picked the weirdest one from the messages the suggested messages i'm sorry i said it's okay uh and then i said you're so hot <clears throat> i see you're also in london I'd love to meet someone on here who also lives in London, although that's probably not going to happen. Hence why I'm deleting this app next month. And then they left me on red for that one. So I said, too depressing? I understand. And then they said, just because I said too depressing, I understand. That's the only reason why they replied, but they want to play it like they didn't. They want to play it like, oh, they, they, they were just drunk. They were just... People like to get out of things. People like to make excuses for themselves. You know, instead of being truthful and being honest, and instead of basically, you know, admitting the mistake you've just made, people like to lie and bullshit about things. So she said, I said, nah, if I didn't send my second message, I'm 100% go away. 100% sure you wouldn't have replied. Loads of people on here leave me on red, so I have to double message to either get a reply or get blocked slash unmatched. I'm deleting this app soon anyway. This is the best app for ruining your self-esteem, honestly. But best of luck to you. She said nothing. At the bottom, you can see it says red. You can clearly see it says red at the bottom, okay? Cool. Right, moving on to the next example. She left me on red after me just saying hi. Yep, she did hi, waving. I did hi, just a hand. Red, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong within the first message to be left on red? What, what have I done? Uh, okay, so a lot of them, there's one tick and the message hasn't gone through. Here's a perfect example. This one says, hiya, it's like a really fit butch girl, right? Really fit, like stud or whatever. Honestly, I would love to sit on that face. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, and then I go, wow, you're fine. Heart eyes, hey. Why, what have I done wrong in that one message to be left on red? This is what I don't get with these apps. It just like, I just feel like I'm unwanted, unloved, unappreciated, unimportant when I'm left on red. It just takes my self-esteem from a hundred to a two. It's really damaging. And the next one, um, you had a little bit of a chat. There wasn't really much going, so you know, conversation ended there. This one, I would have liked this one to go on because this girl was mixed race as well, like me. So it would have been a nice relationship. You would have suited each other, or it would have been a nice um, hookup or whatever. So yeah, we just talk about each other's hair and blah blah blah. You can pause it if you want. Don't care. Next one, I just do like a little face. Yeah, hi, you are cute. The thing I hate on these apps, most of the women call me cute. Why am I cute? Why am I not beautiful? Why am I not gorgeous? Why am I not sexy? Why am I just cute? Hey, you too. It's in your eyes. She said, oh, thank you. I did a little face, red. This girl, I really, really like this girl. Her name was Sava. I'm gonna show everybody's profiles on here. I don't give a <laughs> This girl is literally the most beautiful woman on the app. She is the most gorgeous female I've ever seen on this app. I don't know if you can see it. She's the most gorgeous, her name's Sara, S-A-R-A, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen on this app. She's absolutely <laughs> stunning. This is the thing, I'm mixed race, right? And white people see me as black because they're, they're culturally Culturally ignorant was the word that I was looking for. Um, that is not that is not an attack. That is not like me slandering the entire white race. It's very very far from that. <laughs> I'm half white myself. But um, what I'm trying to say basically is that a lot of white people misidentify uh, people of mixed backgrounds and throw them in either the white or the black box, which is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's what I seem to be seeing a lot on dating sites. So nobody get the wrong idea. Don't come for me in the comments. Comments going to be disabled anyway. So. <laughs> Um, you won't be able to comment, but you can reply to this some other way, but yeah, back to the video. But my type is a white girl, usually. All of my ex-girlfriends have been white, and I think this is my problem. I think this is maybe the universe telling me that I need to stop having a type, and I need to just go for everyone. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> 
speaking of which, I mean, I'm deleting this app soon. I've already given up on it, but yeah. So just stop ghosting. Just stop ghosting. Look, I understand all the best. This girl said I'm going to try and take you out on a date one day. She even said that, like, way up here or some, some <coughs> Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was talking to this person for a while, and then they just <coughs> disappeared and stopped talking to me. I mean, I really like this person, but they seemed a bit needy because they said they need someone to be around them all the time, so yeah. Um, I, did, uh, I know they did say they had special needs, but I know people with special needs that like to be alone, so, you know. And she was alright uh, looking, you know, she had a bit of a double chin, but, you know, I thought she was alright. She'd be a nice butch for me. So, yeah, she'd be a nice, yeah, I'd like to, you know, she would have been a good companion, but yeah. So I said, um, oh, okay, nice. Left on red. You could have continued the conversation, why didn't you? Stop ghosting, just stop ghosting. And I was working as a kitchen assistant back in um, October. And I said, well, I was a kitchen assistant. I was fired two days ago, so this is after I was fired. She left me on red. This girl wasn't that attractive anyway, so. Um, this one. This is another example. You, why start the conversation with, hey, if you know it's not going to go anywhere interesting and you know that you're just not going to want to talk to me? Hey, hey, how are you? Great, you? Red. I'm going to put a loads more examples in this video right now um, without me talking because I need to save time. But let me just say that it's been extremely difficult for me in, in the dating pool. Uh, not just because I like white girls, but I mean, I would go for a mix. I'd go for a black girl as well. It's just that I, a lot of the time, the kind of women I find attractive happen to be white. Um, so, you know, I'm just a bit irritated by the whole matter. Um, I'm annoyed because, it's, you know, I just this year it just made me feel like I'm a piece of <laughs> when it comes to dating. It just make, makes me feel like I'm not wanted by anybody, which is fine. Um, that's OK. I want myself. That's why I have sex toys. That's why I watch porn every night. Other than that, you know, that's fine. You know, I mean, I'm single. Nobody seems to want me. That's what sex toys are for, right? Okay. But yeah, guys, just stop stop ghosting people, honestly, because when you ghost people, people don't know why you're ghosting them and it ruins their self-esteem. So perhaps if you could stop doing that, guys, I think that would be absolutely fabulous if you could stop doing it and stop being uh, twats to everybody. Stop leaving people on red. If you're gonna be ignorant, give me a reason for your ignorance, okay? So this is the end of the video now. I might do a part two, not too sure yet. But anyway, I'm going to go now. So, oh, glasses are dirty. So that's all I have to say. Guys, don't be idiots to people. Just be nice. Doesn't take much, okay? All right. That's all. Love, peace, and... Okay, I just wanted to add to this video. Um, I don't want anybody really feeling sorry for me in the comments. Um, I'm not actually looking for anybody anymore. Like, I'm not, I'm not looking for anybody. Like, I'm deleting... I've tried Tinder. I've tried Timey. Blender, Tagged, PlentyOfFish.com, Match.com, Uniform Dating, Zoosk, uh, Facebook sites, you know, Facebook groups. Uh, I've tried it all. So I'm not really looking. Online dating 100% does not work because what you'll find on online dating, this is another thing I'd really would, I would love it if this ended this year, but it's not going to. One thing that seems to be recurring the fact that when you go on social media and you look for dates, 99.99% of people on dating sites are looking for sex, a threesome, you to send them nudes, to talk to you, string you along, and then leave you on red eventually. The whole idea, dating sites were created to date, to find somebody to date. But people are not using it for that. Yeah, so just, just leave ghosting and leave it's not that deep. We need to leave that in 2000. Oh, one more thing. My fellow lesbians, this is for you, right? Why are we going on TikTok and posting TikTok of us saying, 
if she is, um, uh, you know, you know that song on TikTok. That's my type. That's my type. And all these, all these lesbians are going around on TikTok, and they're saying that their type is a straight girl. They're putting, oh yeah, when she's blonde, when she's five foot two, when she's straight. Uh, excuse me, she's straight. Stop doing that. I like straight girls. Oh yeah, straight girls are my type. They're straight. They're straight. Do you want to get your heart broken? Do you want to like have months of, I don't understand why so many people, instead of going for what's right for them, instead of going for what they need, what they're going for are things that's going to create a lot of emotional and psychological torture for you and that's going to break your heart and just destroy you from the inside out. That's what going for a straight girl is like. Because every little thing she does, you're hung up on it, you think it's some sort of clue that leads you to think, oh yeah, yeah, she's, um, she's into me. And then you find out she's got kids and she's married, or she's got kids and she's got a partner and she's got a boyfriend or whatever. Or, you know, she's whatever. Really? 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 Sorry, honey, not interested. And you shouldn't be interested either in doing that. What happens to lesbians having standards? What happened to having standards? Going for women that are only that way inclined and not straight girls. What happened? What happened to that? So my fellow lesbians, what I'm trying to say, stop going for straight girls, that's what I'm saying. But I just wanted to add that to the end of the video because it's necessary and I felt the need to say it. So there you go, that's all I have to say. Cut into the chase, that's it. Well, this lighting is good as hell. Anyway, that's all. So, love, peace, and <laughs> more videos to come soon. <laughs> Mwah.